If you're not growing sweet potatoes in your garden, it's definitely something to consider. What we did is we planted our sweet potatoes around the 4th of July and we kept them mounted up and here it is November we're ready to dig them. Now sweet potatoes is one of those things you can plant after you get through your spring garden. Uh, they do well growing during the summertime and you dig them before frost. As you can see we got some of the black leaves on here. We had a frost last night. Ideally you want to dig them before you have a frost but this will be okay. A couple weeks ago would have probably been the, the prime time to dig them. So you definitely want to keep them healed up. You can see here we got dirt we have thrown to them. Sweet potatoes are a great product because they store well. Now when you dig them, you're going to have to let them cure for probably about a month at 50, 50 to 5 degrees, normally in the barn when you got good air circulation and they can stay dry. Spread them out so they're not touching one another. And then you can have a food source for six months. They store real good. They're very nutritional for you and very good to eat. So let's give it a try and we'll show you how to dig them. As you see, we probably have dug 20 feet and we got a wheelbarrow full of potatoes and you can tell they're pretty good size. Doesn't take a lot of ground, a lot of room to grow sweet potatoes. Our total row is about 40 foot, so I suspect we'll get a couple wheelbarrows full, be enough to last for a while. This right here is the centennial variety and it's turned out good for us. Now when you're digging sweet potatoes, you need a good tool. We got a good digging fork right here, made in the USA all steel handle it's got a foot pad on right there and that foot pad you can change over if you're left footed change it over here if you're right footed put it where i got it and it works great for digging sweet potatoes you want a heavy duty tine because if you use something like a manure fork or a compost fork you're going to be in them tines but this right here digging fork works great for digging potatoes and again it's made in usa you want to get in there and make sure you get underneath them because if you spare them they ain't going to be much good so get underneath there push them up you can grab them right there you can tell and there the taters are now if you're a little scared of work scared to get dirt on your hands this may not be for you you might want to stay in the house and watch some hallmark movie channels but if you ain't scared to work get a little dirt on your hands and have great rewards growing sweet potatoes Folks, we got two wheelbarrow fools off 40 feet. Now the other wheelbarrow was rounded over. That's a plenty of potatoes for most families right there. Spread them out in your barn so they don't touch. Let them cure three or four weeks and then they're ready to eat. The variety here is Centennial. We plant these things from slips. A slip is what you buy to plant them. It looks like a plant, but they call it a slip. Check out our friends in Tennessee Steel Plant Company. S-T-E-E-L-E -E -E, Plant Company. They grow several different kind of sweet potatoes and they can help you out. Thanks for watching.